Hi, welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I am Matt Powell, and today we're going to be tying the Rogue Agent, which is one of my favorite flies for summer steelhead and half pounders on the Rogue River and anywhere else in the Pacific Northwest. Today we're going to tie the Rogue Agent, which was developed on the Rogue River as a half pounder steelhead fly, but works well for lots of different situations. Today I'm using a size 83761 hook from Tiemco and a hairline black ruby tungsten bead and then fluorescent pink Danville's thread. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in the tail. I use goose biots for the tail because they're stiffer and they hold their shape a little bit better after a few fish. I like to tie these goose biots in with the curve of the goose biot facing up so that they hold their shape a little bit better and keep a straight look. Next thing I'm going to do is tie in my oval tinsel. You can do this in gold or silver. I prefer gold. Next I'm going to tie in my peacock curl and this is dyed red peacock curl. I usually like to use about four or five strands just to bulk up my body quite a bit. And I tie those in at the tips. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just building up a taper on the body. You can use whatever dubbing material you want here uh, because it won't show through on the actual finished fly. I'm just building a nice taper, getting larger and larger and larger towards the front of the front of the hook. Now I am gonna wrap my peacock curl all the way to right behind the bead. Tie that in. Clip it and give it a few more wraps for security. Now I'm going to rib it with my oval tinsel. And I try to taper those wraps, getting a little bit larger, a little bit more space in between each other as you move down the body. Now, I'm going to add my India Henback soft hackle to the collar of the fly. And I tie that in at the tip as well, separating the fibers so it stays a little bit cleaner. Clip that tip and wrap your hackle. Once you have a good four wraps or so in there, tie it off and clip that as well. And I'm going to pull back all those fibers and tie over them so they get a nice uniform look pushing back. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my wings. And these are also goose biots. These are white and I like to tie these in with the curve going the opposite direction from the tail. So they curve over the body of the fly. And you can clip the tags there. Now what I'm going to do 
is add the legs. And this is a key part of the fly. It really adds a lot of movement and uh, makes it something the fish really want to chase after. Today for legs, I'm using Life Flex in copper. Once you get those legs nice and even, you can always go in and trim those after the fly is done. So the last step here will be adding my collar. And today I'm just using some red UV ice dub for the collar. However, you can tailor this to whatever color you like. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is whip finish and add a little bit of a pink collar there to the front of the fly with my thread. Clip these legs so they're about equal in length. And there you have it, the Rogue Agent.